Tanya, police say more information will be released later on today. Meanwhile, in a new letter to families, school officials say the incident involves an alleged sexual assault right here on campus. Now, District 233 superintendent and principal sent the new letter this morning to the school community, stating they are committed to transparency when it comes to the alleged events that occurred at Homewood Flossmore High School yesterday morning. School officials say that while they can't speak directly about the alleged sexual assault, Due to student privacy rights and the ongoing police investigation, they can share about school protocols. They say the alleged incident did not take place in a classroom. Instead, students were working in small breakout groups within the theater department to rehearse their lines when the alleged assault happened. This morning, some students who didn't want us to share their identities told me they're, su they're surprised about the allegations and hope to learn more. Unfortunately, I don't know because you don't ever know what can take place and what can't because in this world you might not never know. It could have happened, but me personally, I do not know, like at all. It is most definitely frustrating because you never know it could happen again. Or it could have happened multiple, multiple times and nobody could have said anything. The letter from school officials also says, in terms of our process, all allegations of sexual assault are reported to the parents, guardians of the students, and local law enforcement officials. Local law enforcement has opened an investigation which will include personal interviews with each student and witnesses, if any. And the school superintendent and the principal are asking parents to call police if, if their child may have witnessed anything or have information about this alleged incident. The district also saying that counsel are available if anyone in the school community needs one.